All right, I'm half a beer ahead of you. Catch up. So, I've been doing some cleaning. Well, not cleaning around here, as you can see, but cleaning other places. So, it's all got to go somewhere. But I found a thing, and I wanted to show you how it worked. It's so simple. Um, it's just kind of fun. So, this right here, this is a commercial fire alarm pull station. So, you probably recognize this. There's a bunch of different versions of them. This is one built by uh, FCI, which I think is Fire Control Industries. Uh, we'll check. There's a label on the inside. Uh, now, you've always wanted to pull one of these. You've always wanted to set the fire alarm off because I know you're a human. Well, I don't think there's many dogs watching, but you never know. But anyway, so if there is a fire or an emergency and you need to set the fire... I mean, really, let's be honest. How often does that really happen? All right. So, say you are an overly intoxicated dude bro who is completely distraught that their local sports team has just lost the finals and you want to be the world's biggest asshole. Or say you are a morbidly depressed teenager who is upset with society and is desperately, desperately crying out for attention and you want to set the fire alarm off, this is how you do it. First, you pull up the safety cover and pull down and the fire alarm goes off and it's loud and it's exciting and immediately afterwards you realize the error of your ways and immediately you try and push this lever back in to avoid being caught because you know you have just violated several laws are probably going to be arrested or threatened with arrest or expelled or just generally have the worst day ever because you are an idiot but the cover won't push in and the alarm won't turn off so let's see how this works now, luckily, when I got this one, it came with the key. This, I think I found it on a building cleanup we were doing, and it was just uh, new in the box on a shelf. And I said, well, that seems to be kind of a horrible thing to let just go into a landfill somewhere. So we open it up, and all we find inside is one toggle switch. That's really, that's all that's in here. There's one toggle switch. This is sort of a one-way spring. And on the side, you can see this aluminum extrusion and when you pull down when you pull down it just angles so the action of this is basically when it's closed up that toggle switch is in the down position and actually since we've got it unlocked we can open it up very slowly and you'll see the toggle switch is in the down position now when we set the alarm off lift the cover pull this open two things happen one it flips that toggle switch up and it sets the alarm off uh, also, that little one-way spring, the little L-shaped spring that we saw behind the, uh, the toggle switch, this right here, it catches on the aluminum extrusion and won't let the cover go back. Now, if you had a key and could get this open and flip the toggle switch down, it's not going to matter. Once the alarm is set off, it's a latching circuit. So this pull station goes to the master control box and will set the alarm off. And at that point, you can flip this toggle switch up and down as many times as you want, and the fire alarm is still going to go off until the fire department, the police, and everybody gets there and resets it. Uh, but yeah, there's really nothing in here. Uh, we've got a nice UL label, Fire Control Instruments. I'm sorry, I said Industries. But uh, Fire Control Instruments Incorporated Newton Mass Model MS2 Non-Coded Fire Alarm Box. Uh, of course, it's got the... Uh, it's got the UL on it. This is a life safety system, so basically anything that's of a life safety system has to have an approval on it from some sort of lab, whether it be UL or ETL. But there's there's codes that govern their construction. Um, there's a bunch of different versions of these control uh, these commercial pull boxes around. Uh, this is one of the most basic that's out there. Um, there are ones that. Uh, actually have electronics in them and are online and are monitored all the time so you can tell if someone rips one off the off the wall and also for certain places like institutions you'll see these but uh, across the front of it will be uh, especially on older ones there is actually a glass vial full of dye so when you pull the handle your hand gets covered in dye and they can tell exactly who did it it was it was the way they did things before CCTV cameras were uh, and security cameras were just cheap um, but yeah, just a little simple thing, and uh, not much going on in the back. Just uh, 
holes for uh, standard single gang uh, outlet spacing and just the terminals the terminals that uh, come out of the switch yeah couldn't be uh, couldn't be much more simple all right I got the rest of this beer to drink have a good night